Let's take a look at reverse Polish notation. What is it and what can it do? Okay, so if you try to Google reverse Polish notation without any idea what the heck it is, you get basically a bunch of stuff like this. So basically what it is, is it's a way to do math. But if you try to look at any of the pictures or descriptions, you're going to get confused really fast. So let's not look at this. Let's look at something else. Let's jump straight into the calculator itself first to see what the heck the calculator even looks like first. Okay, I still have some stuff there. Let's clear out the calculator. So it looks like a normal calculator, except let's say I want to add 25, 25 plus, oh, we can't do that. Why? Well, a Polish notation calculator works as a list. So basically, you have to punch in a list of numbers, and then you can do things with them. See if I type in 25, hit enter, we've now added it to line 1. 15, it's moved up 1, 15 is now line 1, 25 is line 2. And it just goes up the stack. So, knowing that, let's take a look at how equations would look. So, if we did equations, we need to keep our numbers in order like you would normal math. You got parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. You need to put it in that order when you're doing calculator work. At the top, we have the regular equation that you would do, 2 times 3 plus 5, which gives you 11. Now, if you were to write that in reverse Polish notation, you have 2, 3, 5 times 5 plus. What? What is that? That looks like garbage. Why would you ever do it like that? Well, see, here's the thing. Reverse Polish notation is just that. It's a notation, not a math equation. This is You would never normally write it out like this unless you're trying to like figure out how to enter it into the calculator. This is literally just the list that you need to feed into the calculator so it'll give you the answer you want. So let's take a look at the calculator and see how that even works. So as I said, this is a list where you have to build it. So let's say I have the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, I now have on the right side here a list of numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, let's say I want to add all of those together. If I just press the addition key, it adds 5 and 4 together to give me 9. Press it again, 9 and 3 are added together to get 12, press again, 14, press again, 15. So all I had to do was enter in the list of numbers that I wanted and then smash the plus key a whole bunch of time and it just adds those lists together. So this is useful if you have like sets of numbers, like, I don't know, large basket of groceries and you need to add everything together or finance it, balancing your checkbook because you could just add everything together and stuff like that. So let's take a look at how that works. As you can see, it's starting to look a little bit clearer, but it's still confusing. So let's say 2 times 3 plus 5. We just entered in the numbers first in order. 2 and 3. So let's do that in the calculator. 2, 3. So we multiply them together times, oops, wrong key. Multiply them together times gives us 6. So we press 5 and enter that into the list. And now you hit plus, and that gives us 11. Now in the bottom equation, which you see 2 plus 5 times 3 divided by 2, you would do the 5 times 3 first, so order of operations, 5, 3, okay, and then we multiply them together, enter the 2, which we're going to divide by, hit the division key, now we add 2, so put 2 in the list, and hit the plus key, 9.5. 
This is how reverse Polish notation works. Currently, one of the big brands that currently make reverse Polish notation calculators are HP. There's also a number of apps that you can download for your phone if you like this kind of system. Not all of them will come with the numbered list on the side, but most do. Uh, the numbered list on the side makes it really easy if you're doing averages. Let's say you have, I don't know, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 15, 18. You can see here on our numbered list that we have 8 numbers. So we just keep that in mind, and then we just hit the plus key a bunch of times, add an 8 to the list, hit divide, boom, we have an average. Alright, that's reverse Polish notation.